lucky you. Collect them all. Share your phones. It's probably going to slide, so if you can put it. This is not live. Okay. I wouldn't be able to go. All right. All right. Good morning, all. Thank you so much for coming, and welcome to McLaren Oakland. I'm Heidi McLennan, the marketing director here for McLaren. And we're excited to kick off the 2000, or excuse me, the 12th annual Brooksy Way here in 2019. And we have the kickoff event this morning along with the mini grant distribution. It's an honor to be here today with our county executive and the Brooksy Way leadership team <clears throat> as we launch another successful year of this premier event in Oakland County. McLaren Healthcare is very proud and privileged to continue our support of the Brooksy Way as the presenting sponsor for the third consecutive year. While McLaren's core mission is to care for the acute healthcare needs of the people in Michigan, it is also our role as a healthcare leader and community advocate to engage in events and programs that focus on wellness and overall fitness. The Brooksy Way has become a world-class running event in our state that fosters community engagement and collaborative partnerships. Whether it be a race day experience or a hospital experience, we share with the Brooksy Way board and leadership a commitment to provide high quality service and customer satisfaction to all. With this common goal, we are proud to share our name and our resources with the McLaren Brooksy Way and maintain a level of support that complements our role as a healthcare leader in Michigan. I'd now like to introduce our Brooksy Way race director, Deb Flynn. Thank you, Heidi. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. As Heidi mentioned, we are here to talk about the 12th running of the McLaren Brooksy Way, as we do every year. We will also give back to the community from race proceeds from the 11th running of the McLaren Brooksy Way. And I do need to begin with a special thank you to McLaren not only for hosting this event in the beautiful venue of your lobby this morning, but for partnering with us as our title sponsor for the past three years. Whenever we say Brooksy Way, we say McLaren. Your partnership enables us to continue to stage one of the Midwest's most popular and storied half marathon events. The 12th running of the McLaren Brooksy Way takes place on Sunday, September 22nd, with our very popular Little Brooksy Kids Race taking place on Saturday, September 21st. Every year we introduce a new race logo. This will be the look of the race for the next 12 months. This logo will appear on runner shirts, race awards, and all promotion throughout the year. And so to kick things off this morning, I would like to invite Brooks and Heidi to unveil our 2019 McLaren Brooksy Way race logo. Okay, hang on just a minute. I think we have a drum roll coming. There's the drum roll. Proceed. Now the logo features bright primary colors and as I mentioned, you will see this throughout the year on race applications, runner shirts, medals, promotions, everything we do to promote the McLaren Brooksy Way. Now, to go on with a few headlines and highlights from the 12th running. We are very pleased to renew our partnership and welcome back our half marathon sponsor. Kroger has been our half marathon partner and sponsor for the past six years. This year, we are happy to say we will once again partner with them to support their unique, unique food collection initiative. And I would like you to know more about this initiative that Kroger has from Rachel Hurst, Corporate Affairs Manager for Kroger. Rachel? Thank you. Uh, we are so thrilled to continue our partnership for the last six years in the 12th year with uh, Brick Seaway here. Uh, zero Hunger, Zero Waste is an important mission to us. And being part of the Brick Seaway Marathon really allows us to be part of so many great charities that are really trying to help those in need and get off and running and do the better good for the community. But what we do with Zero Hunger, Zero Waste is fight hunger right here in Michigan. One in five children go to bed hungry. 
This morning, we were at the Gleaners uh, Women Leadership Breakfast, and over 300,000 kids just in five counties alone go to bed hungry. So what we do with Brooksy Way in allowing the runners to come in with a food drive and bring pounds of food to be donated to our local food bank, and then $10 off their race admission. So not only are they doing what they love, but they're giving back to fight hunger. We know that when kids get the food they need, they can thrive further in education. So we love the partnership. Thank you to the sponsors that are here today, the charities for what you're doing each and every day to make a difference in the lives of young individuals and those in need. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Last year, we were pleased to say that Brooksy Way Runners and Walkers filled the Kroger collection van with non-perishable food items and the van was stationed at the front door to our race expo at the OU Rec Center and also at the start line on race day. So our runners took part and contributed and once again this year they'll receive the coupon for a discount off for next year's race. So thank you very much Kroger. Okay, let's talk a little about the 5 and 10K and half marathon courses for the McLaren Brooksy Way. They will remain the same this year with all start and finish lines on the beautiful OU campus at the Meadowbrook Amphitheater. Our 5 and 10K races run directly through the campus and our 10K course actually goes under the new iconic bell tower on the campus and OU actually programs a special music playlist for our runners as they make their way under the 10K, under the bell tower. So that's a real exciting feature for runners in that race. Our 5K race will, return, will feature the return of the middle school challenge. That allows every middle schooler in Oakland County to take part in our 5K race for five bucks. That's as much as a $45 discount from regular prices. These kids get medals, shirts, finish line food, and anything that any other runner receives, but they're able to do it for $5. Now our flagship half marathon course has been named one of the top 10 most beautiful half marathon courses anywhere in the country. M Live Readers also called our course the top half marathon course in the state of Michigan. It's tough, it's hilly, but it draws runners and walkers back year after year. And to illustrate that loyalty to our half marathon, when we observed our 10th running two years ago, we welcomed nearly 100 men and women into our 10-year runner club. That means they have run every single Brooksy Way race for the past 10 years. This year, we are announcing an expansion of the 10-year running club, and it'll be a rolling club, so any person who reaches that 10-year benchmark will be welcomed into the club. Every year we'll welcome new runners and walkers, and this year we expect to have over 200 folks who have run or walked 10 Brooksy Way races. And once again, I'd like to reiterate the popularity of our 10, uh, of our half marathon course. You guys can kind of walk around. These three people are Brooksy Way 10 year runners who have done every single 10 year race. Steve Freeland, Al Mavy, and Trina Jolly have run 10 Brooksy Way races, 11 Brooksy Way races, and this year they're 12. And they are here to model for you this year's 10 year, or excuse me, this year's half marathon race shirts featuring the new logo that we just unveiled. This is the first look of the race. <laughs> and I would say that represents a lot of brand loyalty to the McLaren Brooksy Way. You guys are, have told me, and all of these people have told me how much it means to them to return to the Brooksy Way year after year. So this year we'll welcome the new group who reached the 10th running mark. So that'll be over 200 men and women, and I'd say that's real brand loyalty to the McLaren Brooksy Way. So thank you very much. We'll see you in September. One final race headline I would like to tell you about this morning is our very important charity program. This is a very popular trend in the road race industry. This is a way to allow 
local nonprofits to promote and fundraise for the better good. Worldwide, millions of dollars are raised every year through road race charity programs. It's done in the London Marathon, the Boston Marathon, the New York Marathon, as well as smaller races throughout the country. In a couple of years, we were pleased to establish the Brooksy Way, the McLaren Brooksy Way charity program. And one of the, the key features is the way that folks can go online, register for the race, and fundraise for the charity of their choice. And the individual coordinating the charity program is here with me today. And I'd like her just to say a few words to you on how it works and how our charity partners can fundraise. Our charity partners this year are listed here. As you can see, we have a wide variety of charities and nonprofits from every, every genre of nonprofit community taking part. Jenna Kearns is Brooksy Way's social media director, and she's going to talk a little about how this actually works. Hello everyone, thank Hello, you for Jenna. being here today. Thanks for letting me speak. Um, I'm lucky enough to not only work for the, for the Brooksy Way and the McLaren Brooksy Way every year, but I'm also lucky enough to know the back end of our registration platform. I also work for Inmotive. So I've been lucky enough to see how they've been able to fundraise and change their charity program year after year to fit the needs that we see and we met. Um, this is our third year with the charity program. We have added a, another charity and it is the Orient Art Center, but we do have the Oakland Livingston, um, OLHSA, sorry, I can't speak right now. Thanks, Elena, she's got my back. She's here to um, represent for them as well. But in the past three years, we've raised over $7,000 and we've had over 700 people either donate or run on behalf of a charity. So how cool is that in addition to all of the runners? Um, but what's super cool is that everyone that wants to donate in the process of their registration, they're able to fundraise on behalf of one of the charities, which means in addition to donating whatever they see fit, they can also have their own fundraising page, which they can post on all social media, anywhere and everywhere. Um, this year we're hoping to grow the program by another 500 runners, and we're super excited to be able to do that with all of our new charities. Um, thank you. Sorry. Hi. <laughs> thank you, Karen Stadbach. That's a little bit of, of a technical explanation of how the program works. And one of our charity partners that's been with us from year one is the Rainbow Connection. And I'm pleased to announce that the Rainbow Connection will be returning to the Brooksy Way this year to integrate their event, their annual runner uh, race collaborative that's gonna take place on Brooksy Day and as a part of the Brooksy Way race. So we're very happy about that. So, moving on. Since the very first year of the McLaren Brooksy Way, we have given race proceeds back into the community. That's not a typical event or way of doing business for every road race, but that is our standard operating procedure. Since the very first year of the McLaren Brooksy Way, we have provided over $260,000 back into the community by way of Brooksy Way mini grants. And this morning, we're here to give away five more checks to five more deserving local nonprofits who focus on fitness and healthy lifestyles. So I would like to introduce a member of the Brooksy Way Board of Directors and a member of the Brooksy Way Charity Nonprofit um, Mini Grant Committee, Mr. George Miller. Thank you. Also, I forgot. I would like to call Heidi and Brooks, if you would come up toward the uh, easel with a logo, and we'll call up the mini grant winners, and you can present the checks to them. I'd like to just uh, give a shout out to my fellow uh, committee members. Uh, Steve Huber in the back of the room, Christy Zamora and our chair, Shelly Wyatt, who couldn't be here today uh, for their work on this also. We meet three times a year uh, to review the proposals. It's an exciting time when we look at the uh, different proposals and what they do to give back to the community and what they do to help improve health. And uh, this year's no exception, so I'm here to announce some of the winners. Our first mini grant today goes to Michigan Senior Olympics for their 5K and 10K road races held in August. These races are held to encourage those over age 50 to stay active, set a goal, and train throughout the summer to be able to participate in one of the races. 
A Brooksy Way Mini Grant is being awarded to upgrade the event from manual timing to a chip timing system, which is very important. Providing a better experience at the race is one of the ways the organization has identified they will meet their goal to increase participation. The chip time system also provides faster and more accurate results and offers a more professional experience for the runners. Here today to accept the mini grant is Becky Redke, who just left. <laughs> <laughs> I can't read fast enough. Thank you, Becky. Thank you, Excuse me, you Thank you very much. Our next mini grant goes to Metro Detroit Youth Clubs for their Fitness for Me program. Formerly known as the Boys and Girls Club, these organizations serve members ages 6 to 18 with a goal to create a foundation to make a lifelong commitment to physical fitness and wellness activities. Fitness for Me focuses on warm ups, stretching, and toning muscles. The Brooksy Way Mini Grant will provide equipment for the program, such as stability balls, mats, medicine balls, and resistant bands. Uh, Shelly Owen, is she here? Director of Development is here today to accept the mini grant. Thank you, Sally. Sally Owen. <laughs> Next, we have Oakland University Recreation and Wellbeing and their fitness court. Oakland University was recently selected out of a numerous applications to partner with the National Fitness Campaign to build a fitness center outside the rec center. This fitness court is a body weight circuit training system designed for adults of all ages and abilities that will feature different workout stations and will allow the rec center to integrate fitness into the campus and the community with outdoor challenges and workouts. Here today to accept the mini grant is Aaron Davidson, fitness coordinator. I also want to recognize Greg Jordan. Greg, where are you in the audience yeah. today? For Oakland University and supporting us all in these years for the first two way. Thank you very much. Our next mini grant goes to the city of South Lyon in cooperation with South Lyon Parks and Recreation. They're installing a dual wheelchair accessible swing in uh, McHattie Park to allow people of all ages and abilities the opportunity to feel the joy that a simple swing can provide. These wheelchair swing platforms have been called game changers by many parents. The Brooksy Way Mini Grant will help fund the wheelchair accessible swing along with the necessary signs and the turf. Paul Zalanik is here, I think, to represent. He's the city manager. He will be accepting the mini grant. Thank you, Paul. Our last mini grant today is being awarded to Brandon Groveland Youth Assistance for Steps and Stories, a walking and reading program. Low income students ages 6 to 12 will walk for 30 minutes and read for 30 minutes and learn new activities such as dance, fitness, soccer, yoga, and basketball. Special guest speakers donate their time to help these children become mentally and physically stronger through this health and literacy program, and family members are encouraged to participate too. Here today, except the Brooks Huey Mini Grant is Fan, uh, Fran Hotchkiss. Thank you for being here. Thank you. She's the program manager. Thank you. And those are our mini grants for this uh, session. So thanks, Deb. And we will be awarding another round of mini grants out during race week, which is September 22nd. So please look forward to that, and I hope you'll be joining us then. And as I conclude this morning, as I always do, I'd like to recognize the Brooksy Way staff and team members that are here that help make the race possible every year. Paul Coughlin, Greg uh, Guidas, race co-chairs. Randy Flynn, race whatever, whatever I ask him to do. <laughs> uh, Jenna Kearns, Morgan Lewis, Joe Baldwin, you're here somewhere, I saw you. Michael Dock, start line announcer. I'm hoping I haven't missed anyone, but I did say Randy. I'll say him twice. <laughs> and Phil Bertolini, county officer who does so much for the Brooksy Way, and, and actually got to end with Greg Jordan. He's our contact at OU, and, and he programs that bell tower, so there's really cool music when folks run through it on the 10K. I'm taking requests after. 
All right, there we go. So thank you very much for attending. Again, thank you to Kroger. Thank you to McLaren. We will see you in September, September 22nd, 2019. Thank you so much. Oh, oh sure. Okay. Could we have each um